Yo, what's going on, YouTube, and welcome to Goal Line Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte, and we are taking a look at the Minnesota Wild and their top prospects. Do the Minnesota Wild have a top five prospect system right now in the NHL? We'll be taking a look at their top prospects in this video. If you like what we're doing here at Goal Line Hockey, want to see the latest news around the NHL, guys, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and a subscribe down below, and let's take a look at the Minnesota Wild prospects. Alright, so as usual guys, before we get too far into this video, I want to give a quick plug to our Instagram and Twitter handles at goal line underscore hockey. Links will be in the description down below. And make sure to check out our Patreon for a weekly podcast every Thursday night. We talk about the latest news around the league over the past week, as well as answer your YouTube questions from here on the channel so if you want a chance to have your questions answered on that uh that podcast make sure to leave comments down below and also guys subscribe 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 89 percent of you watching these videos are not subscribed what are you doing only 11 percent of you are subscribed so we have to change that guys make sure to hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up and the thumbs down button as well I'll give you a second to do that real quick thumbs up thumbs down and then hit that big red button that says subscribe that's all you got to do all right so with that out of the way guys let's take a look at the minnesota wilds top prospects they have a very solid prospect system and general manager bill garen has done a very good job at building this group we're going to start off at number five where you've got Kalen Addison, the defenseman who came over from the Pittsburgh Penguins trade at the trade deadline with Jason Zucker this past spring. Last season with the Lethbridge Hurricanes of the WHL, also fellow player Dylan Cousins, who's with the Buffalo Sabres, a top 10 draft pick. He had 50 games played last season, 52 points for a defenseman, Kalen Addison. A lot of potential around this guy. He's a 20-year-old. He was the key player of Minnesota Wild in that Jason Zucker trade. Uh, they also gave up forward Galchenyuk, who signed with the Senators. Uh, Bill Guerin was the assistant general manager of the Penguins when they selected Kalen Addison in the second round back in 2018. The skilled puck-moving defenseman helped Canada win the 2020 IIHF World Junior Championships with nine points in seven games, guys. He's projected to begin this season with the Iowa Wild, which is the AHL affiliate of the Minnesota Wild. The projected NHL arrival, according to NHL.com, they have him going to the NHL next season. I wouldn't be surprised if at the end of this season, even toward the trade deadline, maybe the Minnesota Wild are willing to move out some of those guys, specifically some of those defensemen before the Seattle expansion. Don't be surprised if they maybe move out a defenseman. We see Kalen Addison at some point this year in the Minnesota Wild colors. The fourth top prospect is goaltender Capo Kakinen. We saw him a little bit last season with the Wild. He was acquired in the 2014 NHL draft, the 109th overall selection. Last season with Minnesota, he went 3-1-1, one, one, a under three goals against average, and a 9-13 save percentage. He put up some really good numbers in the in the AHL with the Iowa Wild, played in 34 games, won 25 of those 34 games, had a 207 goals against average, and a 927 save percentage. There's a lot of excitement around Capo Kakinen, and he will battle Stalock for the time behind Cam Talbot this season, uh, which again, the 24 year old is built like an NHL goalie. He's 6'2, 215 pounds, and appears to have proven he can. All he can with Iowa after leading the AHL in shutouts with seven last season and finishing fourth in goals against average and save percentage last season. I'm very excited to see Capo Kakinen. I think he's better than Alex Stalock. And I think we see Alex Stalock start the season with the Iowa Wild next year. I think Capo Kakinen is ready to take that next step for Minnesota. At number three, guys, we have a 2019 first round pick. Forward Matthew Boldy. Matthew Boldy played in Boston College last season. He had 34 games played, 26 points in those 34 games for Matt Boldy. Boldy finished his freshman season strong, 22 points with uh, 8 goals, 14 assists in his final 17 games after scoring only 1 goal and 3 assists in his first 17 games. 
Now, according to Garen, sometimes I think everybody feels a young kid is going to go right in and tear it up in college hockey, and it's a big adjustment. But the most important thing is that he progressed and had a great second half and is going to just build off of that. He's 19 years old. He has an NHL size. Guys, he's, he's 6'2", 196 pounds. So projected to play for the United States at the 2021 World Junior Championships, uh, after which he was passed on uh, as a player on the roster last year. So this is a good opportunity for him to get a little bit of vengeance. The projected NHL arrival is the 2022-2023 season. So we still got a couple of years for Matthew Boldy. He was just selected in last year's NHL draft. He just played his first season at Boston College. So he's going to go through the college system, hopefully get a degree up at Boston College. And then once he's done that, he could come over to the NHL. Number two prospect, guys, the 2020 first round pick of the Minnesota Wild. That ninth overall, we have the Ottawa 67 native, 39 points, uh, 30, 39 goals, 81 assists last season, 120 points in 56 games for Marco Rossi last season in the OHL. Rossi is only 5'9, 183 pounds. He isn't big, but the Wild envision him as their potential number one center in the future. Last season, he led the CHL in points with the Ottawa 67s in the OHL. He was loaned to Zurich in the Swiss National League while waiting the start of the NHL season and targeted for January 1st. Uh, Marco Rossi hopes to earn a job with the Wild this season. Minnesota has yet to decide whether to bring the 19-year-old to training camp or allow him to play for Austria in the 2021 NHL, uh, the 2021 IIHF World Junior Championship. And the projected arrival for this young Marco Rossi is next season. So they have him staying over in Europe this year and coming over to the NHL next season. Now this is good because we've seen NHL players do this before. I mean, maybe not to the same level, but Austin Matthews played in the U.S. You know, the U.S. National Development Camp and moved over to Zurich uh, with the Zurich Lions in the Swiss League. And he played there for a season, developed his game, was able to play with older men. Uh, instead of playing with just guys his age, he was more well adapted to that that NHL game with bigger bodies and and guys that just had more experience. So it was a good opportunity for for uh, Austin Matthews in that position. We could see something like that happen here with uh, with Marco Rossi. All right. So with the number one prospect, and we all know this is the top guy. He is going to be in the Minnesota Wild lineup this season. And there's a lot of hype around this Russian superstar forward. Forward Kirill Kaprizov. Kaprizov was selected 135th back in the 2015 NHL draft. He played last season with CSKA Moscow of the KHL, and he put up 62 points in 57 games, 33 goals, and 29 assists. A really solid season for Kaprizov. The Wild are excited about Kaprizov's long-awaited arrival. He's 23 years old, and he's been playing with the KHL. He led the KHL in goals last season. The left winger, who signed a two-year entry-level deal back in July this year with the Wild, is projected to be a big player for this team. Now, despite his short size coming in at 5'9 and 185 pounds, by using his speed, intelligence, and offensive skill, he might need some time to adapt to the NHL, but... Besides that, he is ready to go. And according to Bill Guerin, this is the best league in the world. It's going to be a step up from wherever he's played. Kind of a knock at the KHL. Uh, but just looking to help him adjust and jump right into things. He's a great kid. He's going to bring a lot of life to our team. A lot of personality. Their projection, he will play in the NHL this season. And I agree with that. I think he'll make the team out of training camp. Kirill Kaprizov is a superstar talent. He's been the captain of the World Junior Championship team for Russia. He is just a superstar in the making. I think a lot of people up there in Minnesota are very excited for Kirill Kaprizov. So guys, let me know in the comment section down below. How many of these guys are you excited for up there in Minnesota? Is it Kalen Addison? Is it Matthew Boldy? Is it Marco Rossi? Is it Kirill Kaprizov? Let me know in the comment section down below and if you like what we're doing here at goal line hockey we'll see the latest news around the nhl guys make sure to give this video a thumbs up and a subscribe down below thank you so much for watching and have a great day